What technology is required for physical time travel? At present, purely theoretical technology is the only known kind that exists to allow for physical time travel. The flux capacitor in the Back to the Future movies, in this regard, is only less plausible a MacGuffin device enabling time travel than the double-care black hole engine of alleged time traveler John Teeter because it is not as fully schematically described. And here, again, we come back to the Montauk chair in the supposed Montauk project disclosures. Supposedly, the Montauk chair arrangement consisted of a pilot's seat between twin Tesla coils opposite a portal construct, that is, a simple screen onto which to project the pilot's thoughts. This design, we're told, was based on the Philadelphia Experiment arrangement of the coils along the upper deck of the USS Eldridge that created a time tunnel perpendicular to their alignment. The accounts of Bob Lazar can also not be entirely dismissed from this category. His descriptions of a small reaction tower and collapsible flexible waveguide for housing fuel element 115 as an engine to generate anti-gravity propulsion may be just science fiction for now, but the premise will eventually be explored further and results are bound to demonstrate either proof for his claims or to refute them. While Lazar's lenticular discraft models for anti-gravity flight may not immediately seem related to time travel technologies. However, wherever anti-gravity appears, there is also the potential for time travel becoming involved as well. Gravity organizes energy into matter, and so it is neg-entropic. Therefore, what is anti-gravity is pro-entropy, and vice versa, what is pro-gravity is anti-entropy. In short, any anti-gravity drive that may be used for propulsion through space, particularly FTL, may also be turned around into an anti-entropy drive and used for propulsion through time. All this being said, modern theoreticians describe the probably easiest means of ripping open space-time to involve using exotic matter to stabilize the core circumference of a wormhole that could then be targeted to open at one end in the here and now and at the opposite end to open onto some far distant location at some different time. It is highly likely the best design for real time travel technology will combine aspects from all these models. My own certainly do.